All right, make sure you get it all laid out. Make sure the ground's all smooth underneath it. Remember, if you lay it on top of it, you're going to be sleeping on it. Nothing worse than the middle of the night finding a rock or a stick or something under you. Make sure the corners get staked down through the rings. Make sure that piece is available. All right, there's two poles. I'm going to have to do this. And the camera's going to move around a little bit. The colored pole goes over the, the little stainless knot. And that'll connect it tight. The elastic string will stay in there. You don't need to put it all together at one time. Just put a little bit as you feed it across. I'm going to stop here and then uh, feed a little bit through and I'll show you some more. All right, the pole sits through these little plastic clips at one end. You don't really need to hook them right away, but you'll see the mesh loop. It's just a black mesh loop. It's a big pocket. It's got a lot of space to, to feed it through. You'll feed it through, and it goes all the way across the very top of the tent, and you'll see when we're all through here. Poles cross as they go through the pockets. It's going to make an X. It's a little bit breezy, but just still, it's not too hard to set up. As long as you're staked down, it should never blow away. All right, you can see the other ends in the little pin, and the ring is hooked to the stake in the ground. Sorry, it's so shaky. All right, the first pole's fed from that side through both of the black pockets all the way over and it sits here it looks pretty long and it is but we'll fix that when we're done it's all part of the setup let's try it this way As you can see, the pole's a little awkward looking, but it's going to straighten up. It has a lot of flex to it. Here's the other one. It's all in. Go over here into this corner. Okay. Now there's one more pole. It's a shorter pole. And that's for the fly. I'm going to set that on there now. I'll set it all up and then I'll film this again. Alright, we've got the fly up over it. Got the pole in it. Need some minor tugging and pulling. <clears throat> A little Velcro here. Sorry about the camera. There. The Velcro there holds it onto the pole. Oh, that is for the uh, door when you want to leave it open. It's got little connectors. All right, you can see the, the fly attaches down here at the buckle and you can pull it tight. There's two additional stakes, and they go here. <laughs> they go here, and what it does, it pulls the fly away from the tent so it doesn't lay right on the tent. And you get moisture buildup if you do. That's why the poles sit up like they do, to help keep that vapor barrier working. Now. 
need the other stake over here yet. I'm just setting this up so it'll air out a little bit. Get any mildewy smell that might be in it. Check the seams. Alright, it's all set up. Flap's been closed. It's been out here for about an hour now. Sun's heating on it. I'm going to take it down now. Now the real trick to putting it down is to make sure you get all the air out of the inside of the cabin. And get it, fold it back up to fit back in the storage bags. Sun might be a little too bright here. I don't know. I'm going to stop the film occasionally. Just take a couple steps at a time like I did setting it up. Alright, I got the fly lengthwise, fold it in half, then fold it in half again, and fold it in half a third time. I'm going to roll it up now. Okay, as you can see, I've already disconnected the first corner. And it still stays pretty rigid with three of them holding it in. We'll see what happens here as we release them. Voila! It collapses. So the poles, again, you can see are extra long. We're going to start folding them up. We'll leave the stakes in the ground until we get it ready to fold it. Okay. It's collapsed. I've removed the poles. The uh, window flap is open. And, as you can see, I left the door just kind of open. It doesn't really need to... Just want to make sure you don't need lumps. Uh, the idea is... If you leave it open like that, uh, the air can escape. Believe me, it gets a lot of air in it. And if you camp in them, uh, when you're sleeping at night, you expel a lot of moisture. So you want to make sure they're good and dry. And having the flaps open uh, while you're taking it down helps dry it out a little bit. If you don't get it dry when you get home, Set it back up, it doesn't take much space, and let it air out on a nice sunny day. Dry it out good, wipe any grass or dirt you might find in it out. As you can see, I left uh, two of the stakes in on the two corners, and I pulled two stakes. This will help hold it in place while I fold it. Remember, it's got to go in that bag. All right, again, I folded the ten in half, and then in half one more time. And about a foot or so from the end, I, uh, where I'm going to start rolling, I left the uh, fly. It's already rolled up, ready to go. And it's going to get rolled into one piece as we go.